So to get the best out of your DJI Mic 2, it's time to update your firmware. So first we need to check what firmware we have. So let's take out receiver and at least one transmitter. And then we go into the menu by swiping down. Then we go to settings. We scroll all the way to the right, almost all the way to the right where it says version. And here we can see that we are currently on 04.02.01.13. And then if we go to DJI's website, I'm going to drop the link to the website below. Then we can see what the current or the latest updated firmware is. And that one is currently 04050111. So now when we know that we have a newer firmware version available, it's time to download it to the computer. So I usually start to download one of those so I don't mix them up. So first let's start with a receiver. So let's download the receiver first. It's going to download to the computer. And now let's connect the receiver to the USB-C cord that I have connected to my computer. And now to make this work, we need to turn this one off. So let's press and hold the power button until it turns off. And now if we check in Finder, it shows up here in Finder. Open it up. Let's take this file that we downloaded, drag and drop that one into this device. And then after we have dropped it here, it's just going to transfer over. And now when it has transferred, then I can just unplug this one from the computer. And now it says updating in the display here. And after this one is done, well, then it's updated. So now it's time to do the same thing with the transmitter. So let's download a transmitter file. So we know that one is the latest downloaded. Let's take out the transmitter. Let's plug it in. And the transmitter can be on or off when you access this one in Finder. So you're going to have it here on the side again. And then we are just going to drop this one, the file that we downloaded directly into the DJI transmitter. Let's disconnect and let's unplug it. And now when we have disconnected the transmitter, then we need to power it on for it to update. Then we're going to do the same thing with the other one. And after this one is updated, then we can just check inside the menu to make sure that the update is successful. Let's take out transmitters and receiver from the charging case. Let's go into the menu. I can see that we have actually auto record turned on. That can be an issue. So let's go into the menu here let's swipe down and here we can see that the firmware version is 45111 so the updated firmware is installed on the receiver so let's scroll to the sides we can see if it's updated on the transmitters as well here we can see that it's 45111 so we managed to update the firmware version also on the transmitter so everything is set and we are now up to date. Next thing we can do that is to see each other in that video because about 75% of all our viewers are watching that video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.